A new free training course is being offered now to art teachers and community artists who want to work with veterans. Yeah, the purpose is to give the artists the tools and resources they need to make the biggest impact in the lives of vets. WMR2 News Megan Knight has the story. Art has always been a part of 73-year-old Ermin Branch's life. And he says at times, it's also been a lifesaver. Because without art, I would be dead. Uh -oh. I See, I have no doubt about that. I would be dead. Ermin was drafted into the Vietnam War shortly after graduating high school. And when he came home, he says he endured many hardships, such as struggling to find a job and dealing with PTSD. I got involved in art mainly because I didn't know how to express myself, and I didn't know who to talk to. His work is now on display at the Institute for Integrative Health in Baltimore in an exhibit called Sticks and Stones, which features the artwork of veterans. So as you look around, you'll see pieces that are specifically about how I personally, the artist, interacted with PTSD and how it impacted my life. J.W. Roan is the director of Vets Art Connect, which is part of the Institute for Integrative Health. He's also a veteran and says that he sees the positive effects that art programs have on vets. We're seeing amazing uh, numbers already in showing the reduction of anxiety, depression, <coughs> anger. The Institute is partnering with the Maryland State Arts Council and the Maryland Department of Education to offer a free micro-credential course to train community artists and art teachers about the most effective ways to work with veterans. How can artists build residency programs? How can they create a course um, for instruction that's specifically tailored and suited to the veteran community and their families? These groups strongly believe that by having more art programs available to vets, it will provide them with outlets to find healing and improve their well-being. We're excited to get the message out that art can heal. We're excited to teach people about what happens culturally in the military and how they can better serve the community. And we're excited that artists that live here in our communities that have such great talent can bring their talent to the veteran community and teach those veterans their craft. Ehrman says he wishes he had things like art programs available to him when he had returned from Vietnam, and he hopes that other vets will find peace and healing in art just like he did. It's medicine, okay, that it not only heals vets, it heals everyone. Now, the micro-credential course this month is sold out, but there is another one happening this fall. So for more information on how you can sign up, plus more details about the Sticks and Stones exhibit, just go to our website, WMAR2news.com.